For the next week, I'm staying at seven of the world's best five-star hotels, starting with the world's cheapest five-star hotel of $16 a night. That has a pool that stretches up eight levels with a super cool water slide, an infinity pool, and with a room that is surprisingly epic with having a freaking jacuzzi on the balcony, and even a breakfast buffet included in the price. Which, honestly, just for this buffet, I would be $16 for. But with each hotel, the experience and price of the hotel is going to be higher and more extreme, all the way to the $100,000 room. So, for example, welcome to the world's first airplane hotel. And this airplane is fully converted like for example the engines lead to different rooms this is literally one of the coolest things i've ever seen and then over here you have a freaking balcony slash drinks area on the wing of the plane but those are the stairs to actually get in the plane and ladies and gentlemen you will not believe where our room is we are in first class welcome to my living room which are composed of eight first class suites from the original plane and a freaking tv making this 100 percent the most epic movie theater I've ever seen. However, continuing to our bedroom, this is where things are taken to a next level. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our room. It has literally always been one of my dreams to be in a cockpit, let alone having it be my room. Like they left all this stuff the exact same with when they flew it. I just can't get over how cool this is. Like we have takeoff instructions. And I mean, come on, like this is straight out of a dream. Oh my gosh, they both move at the same time. And then attached to the room, we of course have the bathroom with an original window from the airplane. If you found this crazy, just wait till the next place. For $200, you can have a five-star bubble hotel in the middle of nowhere. And like first impressions, this house looks exactly like Sandy's house from SpongeBob. And to keep its shape, it has a silent air pump continuously going. The material on this bubble is super squishy and it's 100% made from recyclable material. So the number one most important thing about this place is you have to shut this door. If not, well, your room, it, it turns into not being a room. <laughs> However, the next door is when this bubble hotel it gets super cool. Oh my gosh, would you check this out? I can't believe like this is a thing. Like I feel like we're literally in a hamster ball right now. And everything around you is transparent. Which supposedly is super cool for the night because you're able to see all the stars and you're in nature without like being outside. But also, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of scary in here. Like I'm in a transparent bubble that's lit up. Yeah, man, like, I don't know. If I wake up at three, I think I'm gonna freak out a little bit. And although it was incredibly beautiful to see all the stars, and I also slept pretty well, and on top of that, the breakfast was absolutely incredible, the thousand dollar hotel is truly when we reach the next level. You see, right now we're arriving to the world's largest ice hotel in the Arctic Circle on Snow Dogs. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ice hotel. Whoa, this is officially one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like everything Thing is ice like the bar is all ice the chandelier the couches are ice the stairs are ice <laughs> oh my gosh i almost slipped imagine how many people have slipped in here <laughs> of course we have the world's only ice movie theater to be honest movie theaters are normally chilly but <laughs> this is on a whole new level there's little igloo houses that are ice and then you even have like ice trees the seats are of course entirely made out of ice but they're also these like massive throne chairs yo and there's even a fish made out of ice that has has wheels. Everything literally can be in ice. Even things that I never knew was a thing. And then there's all this like really cool art. Like just take a look at the details of this mustache. They even have a bath made out of ice. And you already know the glasses at the bar are ice. And this might be tricky. Like how do you even, ah, how do you pick this up and hold it? You, you have to wear a glove. <laughs> refreshing and again it's pretty obvious but if you take a look at where my mouth is the cup is literally melting in my hands i feel like i'm in elsa's castle i seriously do <laughs> whoa okay this is officially one of the coolest things i've ever seen wow and if this is just the lobby i can only imagine what our room is like oh my gosh ladies and gentlemen welcome to our bedroom and room number one is the living room with these two i guess you would call them like sculptures and then over here we have an ice couch with the this massive ice archway. And going through the archway, we have, of course, the crazy cool ice bed. And you know, I've never slept in an ice bed before, but one thing it has going for it, you don't have to find the cold side of the pillow. It's always there. So the game plan for sleeping, in room number three, there's a sauna and also just a bathroom to chill in. So my thought is to go to the sauna for a while and then hop in bed. And in terms of sleeping on this bed, I think I'm actually gonna get a good night's sleep. Like they provide wolf skin and this absolutely massive sleeping bag and actually somehow i got a good night's sleep in my burrito of a home we are just getting started 
Like, next, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to a hotel where I can't even believe it exists. A five-star crane hotel. Oh my gosh, and how do you even get up there? Yo, this is definitely the most unique entrance door I've ever had to a hotel. <laughs> okay, first thing that I see when I arrive are legs on the ceiling. This is by far the most unique elevator I've ever taken up. Oh my gosh, this is a bit sketchy, man. The elevator is literally moving back and forth because of the wind. Oh my gosh, one more elevator to go. Oh my gosh. If you open this door right here, there is nothing but the ground. Oh, we made it. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the forum machinery room, the room that took $1 million to restore, also known as my room for the night. Oh my gosh, and just first impressions of this place, like it honestly looks exactly how I expected. With having all these like random objects that go together perfectly, absolutely amazing views going up two stories with this first floor being these two massive rooms where I guess you would call it the living and chill out area. Like it has one, two, three windows here panning 180 degrees around Amsterdam. Hold up, this door does not, oh my gosh, it opens. Where am I staying, man? Definitely the coolest balcony I've ever seen, but also the sketchiest. <laughs> and with the second floor having this narrow staircase up to one of the coolest bathtubs I've ever seen. Okay, I swear to God, that thing just moved. And when I say this thing is moving, I'm not kidding. I took a shot when I entered the room and now where is that building? It is not here anymore. The bathroom is pretty dope as well. And with what is out of doubt, one of the coolest beds to wake up to that's also super comfy in two full bobby rolls. Like I have no idea how another hotel could beat this one or the ice hotel. So ladies and gentlemen, right now to get to the $30,000 a night hotel, we're on the tiniest plane I've ever seen that lands on water because the hotel is on its own freaking private island with having rooms for $3,000 dollars that float on water and have their own water slides or where I'm staying tonight of a $30,000 a night beach mansion. Now the first thing that you notice about this mansion is just the sheer size of it. Like it's not one floor, not two floors, but this thing goes up to a small third and fourth floor lookout point. Now the second floor is the floor of all these random doors, which is super exciting, but also gets you lost sometimes. For example, this one leads to a huge kind of just like rest slash TV room. This one leads to a bathroom with a view. Door number three. We got a foosball table here. The front of the villa view over here. And on this side, there is a pool table. And on the first floor, you have not one, not two, not three, but four bedrooms with, of course, the view of the pool, which stretches around the entire house, having a water slide and an entrance to your own private beach, where at any time a boat can come pick you up to bring you to your own private picnic island spot, or even go scuba diving. And honestly, after experiencing this, and seeing a $50,000 a night underwater room, I can't imagine how this $100,000 room is. But I officially welcome you to the $100,000 room, part of a freaking million dollar package. And I'm not kidding about this. The Queen of England and US presidents have stayed in. This isn't the size of one normal house. Not two, but three normal houses. For example, welcome to living room number one. And I say living room number one because there's more than four living rooms here. And what I love about this room is it's both like an elegant palace, but there's also high technology. Like over here, we have an iPad, which literally controls any request you might have. And right next to the living room, you have your own freaking personal elevator. Nobody, nobody except us can use this elevator. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, we have nine more rooms to discover here. Welcome to the absolutely insane dining room with 10 different spots here and with glasses that literally cost hundreds each. Do not break that. It costs a lot of money to lose steel. Real silver, gold plates, and probably the most insane thing with being a 100% crystal chandelier, which let me tell you, is pretty expensive. And something that's interesting as well is the dining room is attached to a kitchen where Lucille, do you know that that's where our butler will be making our food? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for breakfast tomorrow. I've never seen a bathroom this size before. Hello there. And over here is kind of like the main area of the bathroom. And then over here, we have a freaking massive bathtub that doubles as a jacuzzi. I'm 
Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to definitely the largest bedroom I have ever seen. This bedroom is so big, like over here, you have another 80 inch TV with a work desk. However, what has to be both of our favorite things is the bed. Something that's really cool is, you feel these pillows they sell? Yeah. There's an entire pillow menu that you can choose from if you don't like Ooh. these pillows. There's <laughs> literally 20 different types of pillows that you can choose from. Now, one of the things that excited me the most when booking this room was the free breakfast included. Like there's just a list of insane options to choose from that supposedly cover a ridiculous amount of the dining room table. Oh, very nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Delicious. This is literally covering like a quarter to half of the table. Yeah, it's crazy. She kept like taking stuff out constantly. <laughs> So anyway, in front of us is the most epic breakfast I've ever seen at a hotel. With having this massive dish of sides of fresh smoked salmon, cheeses, granola, an assortment of fruits, yogurts, and beautiful looking meats. Then we have a bread basket that is the biggest bread basket I've ever seen. And then what seems like the 10th dish here, our main dish, is a beautiful eggs benedict with truffle. This is the most epic breakfast I've ever had. And certainly some of the craziest seven days of my life. Because Comment below your favorite hotel of the video and I'll see you soon.